dear tenth class students today the lesson is climate of india in this lesson the first topic is climate weather that means the first part of this lesson we are having some topics to discuss they are climate weather and elements of climate and weather and the climatographs are climate graphs so what is weather what is climate before going to know about the climate first we know about the weather then what is weather a state of atmospheric condition over a place for a particular period i mean it is a short period we can say it is a weather of a particular place for example during the hot summer all of a sudden the rain cloud fall passes then we can say that the weather all of a sudden change so at the time we will discuss the weather a particular place weather whereas climate a state of atmospheric condition over a period is studied for minimum 30 years or 35 years then now we can declare that the place of the climate in this way that means you can understand now the difference between the climate and weather climate means minimum 30 to 35 years studying afterwards we can judge the place of the climate the climate of particular place in this way whereas weather means in that climatic condition all of a sudden something the weather is changes means we can say that the weather change so already now you would understand that what is climate what is weather so based on this topic now then what are some elements of climate or weather there then what are the elements of the climate and weather temperature atmospheric pressure wind humidity precipitation in the past classes already you studied temperature means hot or cold rainy atmospheric pressure that means the wind will have the wind will have some weight so at the sea level the wind pressure is more if you go top from the sea level the wind pressure is less so it is also one of the element of this climate or the weather wind so next going topic the wind means the water and land masses the topic would be there then you can clearly understand in the past also already you got understood what is the role of the wind to influence in the connection of the weather or the climate then humidity the having of moisture in the air it is called humidity it is already discussed in the eighth class topic precipitation fall of rainfall in different stages it is precipitation so these are all the primary elements of climate and weather then climatographs are the climatographs what are the climatographs are the climatographs both are same that means this word this word is common then the help of the climatographs or climatographs they show the average monthly maximum temperature or the minimum temperature a given place or a maximum rainfall or the minimum rainfall for a given place they will help to record the area to area or place to place where the place is given so these are all the helpful for the measuring or the calculating for a city or for a place regarding the, the maximum temperature or the minimum temperature which is recorded for the particular period or the maximum rainfall or the minimum rainfall in what were recorded will be helpful by this climatographs or climatographs climatographs now i explain factors influencing climate and weather factors influencing climate and weather you know in our india the northern part of the northern part of india is bounded by himalayas the southern peninsula is surrounded by many of the seas 
many of the parts i mean many of the places were situated there on the plains as well like as many of the places situated near by the coast and seas then how these factors will influence the weather and climate let us see what are they the one is a latitude and the, the land water relationship next the relief next upper a circulation now i explain latitude in brief latitude that means the land takes distance from the equator here the main concept you have to understand this is the zero degree latitude you know already latitudes are imaginary lines towards now the temperature of a particular place there the latitudes for mark on the globe already you know it then for example for the zero degree latitude equator from here if you start go on to the pole zones from here if you start go on to the pole zones that means from equator to north pole or equator to south pole if you go on traveling the temperature would be decreased why that means the sun rays falls directly over the equator zone and temperate zone whereas whenever you go far away from the equator the sun rays takes very slanty that means the surface of the earth takes the sun rays very vertically that means the sun rays falls very vertically over the this pole zones next is land water relationship now i explain about it land water relationship you feel that it is the land mass it is the water body that means near by the sea where the place is located near by the sea there the temperature is moderate then the temperature is moderate in what way let us say this is a land mass this is water body then in the land mass generally day time land is heated up earlier and it will be cooled down earlier the water bodies are heated up very late and takes cooling also very late that means during the day time the land is heated up so the surrounding air also is heated up then automatically the air also is heat up to the time this water is not heated up so it take it it feels cool so day time the hot air goes this side the cool air comes this side and automatically the hot and cold combined together the atmosphere is moderate during the night time the land cool down immediately then automatically means here the air also is cool the water body does not cool as much as possible so here the air is hot so hot air comes towards cool air cool air goes towards hot air combined to the night time also here the moderate temperature will be felt the following people who are residing near by the coast then you can understand now this land and water relation also will influence the climate and the weather of a particular place now the next information is relief now explain in brief relief it is a sea level it's called altitude or the ascent altitude means going up ascent means also going up takes higher elevation so whenever you will travel from this sea level by taking the ascent or the going altitude for every thousand meters of the ascent for every thousand meters of the ascent the 6.4 degree celsius temperature would be decreased that means if here that the sea point level if you stand means you feel little bit hot then if you takes altitude if you go up and up and up for every thousand meters of ascent 6.4 degree celsius temperature will be decreased then what you will feel if you go on top then automatically you will feel very low temperature that means this 
really good. Teacher also will influence a particular place, climate and weather. Now I explain upper eye circulation. Northern hemisphere, the high pressure belt gives rise the permanent blowing winds towards the low pressure of the equatorial belt. They are called trade winds. Once again I will repeat. In the northern hemisphere, the high pressure belt gives rise a permanent winds towards the low pressure belt of the equator. They are called trade winds. You see, it is the German word. Trade means it is the German word. Trade means it is the track. Track means in a systematic way, in a constant line. So, it derived from the German word. They are called trade winds. Then, India lies in the belt of the dry northeast trade winds. Next, the Indian climate also is affected by the upper air currents. The Indian atmospheric condition also is affected by the upper air circulation currents. That means above the 12,000 meters of atmosphere in a narrow belt, the fast flowing currents are there. They are called jet streams. Naturally, the currents the fast currents flowing during the summer whereas during the winter their fastness is per hour 184 kilometers. These are also will affect the, in, uh, the, the nature and the tendency of the atmospheric condition. Now let us talk about the seasons of India. On the basis of generalized conditions of climate and weather. The Indian climatic year was divided into three seasons. They are winter, summer and rainy season. Now let us come to discuss the winter season. During the winter season, the average temperature would be decreased from the mid-November and the coldness would be continued up to end of the February. Out of the 12 months, the January month is recorded as highest coldest month during the overall year. The places in the India during the January month recording 10 degrees Celsius temperature where the coastal area, where the places existed nearby the coast, they experience moderate temperature that is 20 degree Celsius. Now, the western disturbances. This is important topic for the students. What are the western disturbances? Already you are marking the Mediterranean Sea in map point. The Mediterranean Sea, already you know, western disturbances means during the winter season, the cyclonic depressions coming from the Mediterranean Sea towards the northern part of India. At that time, the cyclonic depressions causes rainfall in the northern part of India. At that time, the people of northern part they cultivate wheat crop during the rabi season in the winter season. So, the rainfall causes from the western disturbances which causes from the Mediterranean Sea. The rainfall is helpful to the generate the wheat crop during the rabi season by northern people of India. Moreover, the Tamil Nadu catches some amount of the rainfall.